You're watching Local Living on the CW Las Vegas. Good morning, I'm Nicole Reynolds and this is Local Living. Today we're rejoined by George Mayorano from American Male Wellness. George, let's start by talking about the connection between diabetes and ED. Can you explain what diabetes is? Sure, that's kind of a made up term, but it's um, diabetes, diabetes caused by obesity or uh, you know the, the abundance of weight in the body, right? So that, that's really what, it's a made up term, but it kind of combines both because it affects, you know, it affects the body in, in multiple ways. Now, how does that have an effect on ED? Well, diabetes comes along with a, a lot of complications. Uh, one of them being vascular, vascularity issues or blood flow issues. And uh, as we know, male performance is governed by blood flow. So that's really important. And when you hinder that blood flow, uh, things occur that uh, can hinder performance. Now I have a note here that says 88% of American adults are insulin resistant. So how do, where does that fall in line here? Well, insulin resistance is one of the major causes of diabetes, right? So if, if the insulin, if your insulin doesn't function properly, then the body's unable to actually open up that lock key kind of to get the blood sugar into the cells. So blood sugars rise and of course, you know, cause the condition of diabetes, but also then that's indicative of, of causing vascular issues, high glucose levels, and then thus causing blood flow issue. Now, another one of the causes of ED are uh, the drugs that you intake. And what kind of drugs are we talking about when it comes to that situation? Well, there's, there's many different drugs out there. There's many different conditions. Uh, so based on the different medications that are out there, they can hinder blood flow. They can also cause uh, some psychological or hormonal changes, uh, neurotransmitter changes in the brain. So there are many different drugs out there that uh, have this tendency to cause performance issues in men. Now, before I let you go, I really want to hit on hormone balancing and what that is. Hormone balancing. So as we age, as men and as as you know, older adults, both men and women, our hormones start to decrease or decline over time. Uh, what that causes is slower metabolism, uh, slower, less energy, uh, less ability to digest food, and, and over time, they can cause some psychological changes in the body, and things just slow down. So we don't repair tissue as well. In addition to that, hormones are extremely responsible for male performance. And what drives a male is testosterone levels. And testosterone levels are, are extremely important for uh, cognitive ability, focus, energy, performance, um, being able to enjoy life and the sense of well being overall. Now, George, if we want to help our viewers enjoy life and get in contact with you, where can they reach out? You can reach us at AmericanMaleWellness.com online, or you can give us a call at 702-347-7000. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, George. We hope to have you back again soon. And thank you, everyone at home, for watching Local Living right here on the CW Las Vegas. We'll see you next time.